that Robin had no motive and was actually home at the time it happened. Con men living the high life, enjoying luxury cars, you name it, they did it. How did these modern day pirates earn all their booty? Contact Six's Katrina Cravey shows you who they ripped off and how they finally got caught. He's been uh, conducting or perpetrating this fraud for several years. Selling pirated copies of the multimedia Adobe software on eBay. The subject was selling the counterfeit software on eBay for approximately 20 to 25 percent uh, of the actual retail price. Postal inspectors began tracking the suspect after thousands of complaints came into Adobe's anti piracy group. They went undercover, setting up internet profiles on eBay to buy the bogus software and test it for authenticity. They quickly realized the suspect was making a fortune. It went from uh, virtually zero in uh, July of 05. Uh, it spiked up in January of 06 uh, to approximately $45,000. Of sales per month, and it it's able to provide for a lavish lifestyle, including luxury cars, high-end Mercedes, BMW, and Pontiac GTO. And that's not all. We seized approximately uh, $144,000 in cash. We seized numerous counterfeit uh, boxes of counterfeit software. We seized uh, a high-speed CD duplicator. What they found most troubling about this case? The ease with which uh, my subject was able to take somebody else's brilliance and, and hard work and turn it into uh, easy profits for himself. Postal inspectors say if you're buying software online and it's deeply discounted, it's likely pirated. If you're caught using a version of that software, it's $150,000 in damages for every title that you own. So think about that. I'm Katrina Cravey, Contact 6. The NFL is partnering with General Electric and Under Armour to reduce the threat of head injuries. The